of course, the Japanese companies have come to UK by the invitation and by the uh, solicitation, I may say, of uh, the past British government that uh, uh, UK is gateway to Europe. And therefore, it is expected that uh, the manufacturing uh, businesses in particular will continue to have uh, the free access to the European market. Uh, but that is not something that uh, uh, anyone on either side can definitely have an answer because these are all issues that will have to be negotiated between UK and EU. Uh, it's not just to UK that we are presenting those positions. Japan has also approached the EU uh, Secretariat in Brussels to make the point that continuation of healthy, sound trade relations between UK and EU is benefiting not just UK, but also EU, and hence the global economy as a whole, because this is a very important economy that has very important weight in the health of the global economy. And Japan is uh, playing a major role on both sides as major investor. And therefore, we have a high stake on this. The Japanese companies are enjoying their operation in UK. And they have also today said that they would very much like to continue this successful operation in UK, which of course uh, is comprised with uh, access to the European market. And therefore, the question is whether the arrangements that uh, will be reached between the two sides uh, will allow the Japanese companies who are willing and in some ways determined to continue to operate in UK to allow them to make that happen. And we anticipate and expect that uh, the government view of Japan as well as the industry view of the Japanese companies that are investing on both sides, both UK and EU, will also be fully taken into account, not to damage the economic interest which is benefit to both sides. Did any the, uh, I don't know about any contingency plan to start with, but uh, they are watching very closely and all of us uh, I think there's no exception uh, across uh, not just the Japanese side, but also on the British side, to seek clarity and certainty, predictability. And the effort by the UK government, uh, led by the Prime Minister, to engage with the leaders of Japanese industry, uh, allocating considerable time for this dialogue, is an indication that the UK government also understand the importance of keeping people informed, stakeholders informed, and then be as transparent as possible, and then allow the clarity to be uh, given to the investors uh, who have put on their own uh, capital to operate here in UK. Uh, threat uh, is not a word that I will use because it's all subject to how the company, the leadership, uh, assesses the situation. Now, uncertainty is a very uh, important source of concern because if you do not know what may happen uh, in the near future, of course uh, you will be very reluctant to make any decision. There is uh, uh, an importance of having clarity on the short term as well as the longer term. And uh, today uh, we have been uh, uh, told that uh, the implementation period or uh, transition period, uh, whatever you call it, uh, will be discussed and the prospect of agreeing with you uh, is very positive. And therefore that is uh, the first step that I think uh, uh, we would appreciate and welcome. And if there is no profitability of continuing operation in UK, not Japanese only, no private company can continue operation. So 
it's as simple as that. And uh, uh, this is all high stakes that I think uh, all of us uh, need to keep in mind. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you all very much.